hello guys welcome back to another android application development tutorial in this episode we are going to create a simple android flashlight application so start a new android studio project now specify an application name here the application name is flashlight click next click next I select an empty activity click next and finally click finish okay now the project is created so first here I am going to remove the default action bar of this application for that open resource folder go to the values folder and open styles to XML here I am going to change the theme of the application now change the theme into light dot no action bar Okay, this will remove the default action bar of this application. Okay, now the action bar is gone. Now I delete this text view. So now we need some image resources for this application. So here we have some image resources. Here we have three images. The first one is for the launcher icon and other two images are used with an image button. So first here I am going to copy the two images, copy these two images, copy it, now open Android Studio and paste it inside the drawable folder, paste it here. Okay now the two images are available inside the drawable folder. Now we need some background color for this application. So we have to select a background color similar to this image. So open your browser and search for Android material color patterns. Android material color design colors. Now go to this website. Now select a suitable color. Okay, now these color patterns are matched with this object. So I copy this color code. Copy this color code. Now open Android Studio. Open Android Studio. Now open Colors.xml and create a new color resource with the name Color Background. and paste the color code here okay now close this file now go to activity main.xml first remove these margins now specify a background color for this layout so android background color background now specify the background color color background now add an image button image button specify the width as wrap content height is also wrap content now specify an image src so android android src and select an image from the drawable folder here i select the half image now we need to align this image at the center so android layout center vertical into true now we have to specify the scale and throw it scale type into fit center now we have to specify the background for the image and throw it background and use the same background color color background okay now we need an ID for this image button so specify an ID I name it as image button now open the design okay now it looking fine now we can add an application name at the top 
so here I am going to add a text view so add a new text view specify the width as match parent height is also wrap content uh, now specify a text for it employee text and I name it as flashlight app this is the application name now specify Android text size into 38 dp now specify text style Android text color specify the text color select a color from color.xml file select the color primary now specify the gravity Android gravity into center now specify Android layout margin top into 40 dp now specify the text style Android text style into bold ok ok now we finish the GUI part of this application now we can start coding So now we need to set some permission inside the manifest file. So Android, open Android manifest file and add some permission. And here we need the camera permission. Add the camera permission. Now we have to add some features. So use, use feature. Specify the feature name. Android.hardware.camera yeah this class is now deprecated but you can still use it so here I am going to use the same class ok so now we add the permission and feature now close the android manifest.xml now go to main activity dot java so first here we need to declare some variables first here I declare an image button image button I name it as image button now initialize that variable so image button equal to first typecast that one into image button now find it find the view by id r dot id dot image button ok now we need some other variables first we need a camera variable use a camera variable this class is deprecated but you can still use it ok so create variable for camera now we need some parameter parameters and I name that variable as parameters parameters ok now we need some boolean values first one is is flash is flash and I put a value for it false now we need another boolean variable boolean ok change that one into is flash now the second boolean variable is is on that is also false ok here is a simple spelling mistake is flash ok so first we need to check whether the device has a flashlight available or not so that is the first purpose we have to check the device so if get application context dot get py, pycache manager dot has system feature pycache manager dot feature camera flash if this return true that means the device has some camera feature otherwise if the device has some camera feature we can initialize the camera variable so camera dot open now initialize the parameters so camera dot get parameters also I set the is flash variable into true 
set the variable is flush into true okay now we have to create a click listener for the image button so image button dot set on click listener okay first here we have to check whether the device support camera flash or not so we have to use that variable is flash if is flash that means the device has a camera and flashlight otherwise we have to display some alert dialog else uh, we have to start an alert dialog so create some alert dialog builder alert dialog dot builder I name it as builder equal to new builder and use the activity context here the activity is main activity dot this now set some parameter for the builder so builder dot set title first specify a title for it error uh, now specify some message for the builder so builder dot set message flash is not available flash is not available on this device okay now specify some positive button for the builder flashlight change that one into flashlight uh, now specify a positive button for the builder so builder dot set positive button specify the title for the button now specify the click listener now here we have to dismiss the dialog so dialog dot dismiss also uh, we have to finish the activity so finish the activity okay now we can start now we have to show the alert dialog so create an alert dialog variable here alert dialog I name it as alert dialog equal to builder dot create now show the alert dialog so alert dialog dot show this will display the alert dialog okay now we can check that one so first for this virtual device first here I am going to disable the camera feature now I disable camera feature of this virtual device that means there is no flashlight for this virtual device so now I run the application and select the same virtual device okay now the application is available on this virtual device try to click the image button and here is the alert dialog okay that is working fine okay now if the flash is present that means if the camera is available we have to start the flashlight so if first we have to check if the flashlight is already on or not so use the variable is flash if it is if it is not on we have to switch it on so parameters dot set flash mode parameters dot flash mode torch now set the parameter for the camera so camera dot set parameters and pass the parameter now start the preview so camera dot start preview now we specify the we change the variable is flash into is flash into true also we have to change the image on the image button now the flashlight is on so image button dot set image resource are dot drawable dot on 
this will change the image on the image button okay else that means now the flashlight is already on in that case we have to switch it off so image button dot set image resource r dot drawable dot off now set the parameter so parameters dot set flash mode into parameters dot flash mode off now set the parameter for the camera so camera dot set parameters and you pass the parameter now stop the preview so camera dot stop preview also change the value of the variable is flash into false is flash into false okay also here we need to handle some lifecycle method of this application so we have to use the on stop lifecycle method okay it is not here after this bracket uh, we have to specify under lifecycle method on stop so I override the on stop lifecycle method so if the camera is still used by used by the application we have to release the camera so if camera not equal to null if camera not equal to null in that case we have to release camera so camera dot release now set the camera variable into null camera equal to null okay so here we made a simple mistake this is not is flash it is is on and here also this variable is not is flash it is is on and the same the same thing inside the else part is on okay so now we finish the coding now we can set the launcher icon for this application so add a new image asset uh, now add the launcher icon for this application go to the desktop and the image available inside the folder flashlight app and select that image click OK now change the resource name into IC flash I change that one into IC flash now select the square option ok now click next click finish now we need to change the launcher icon of this application so open the manifest folder and here is the launcher icon we have to change that one it is IC flash okay now we can test this application on a real device okay now I start the applications open the application now try to turn on the flashlight okay now the flashlight is on now turn off it okay now it is off